One of the most, most used and most useful websites in the world today is, is Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia, which I used while writing this book, and I think most books written in the last 10 years, if they're honest, have referred to. And if you, if you look at the word Wikipedia, the, the second half of it means <coughs> education from the Greek as an encyclopedia, and the first half means quick in Hawaiian. And I think quick education is a pretty good summary of what Wikipedia is doing. But in fact, Wikipedia wasn't the first wiki, and the idea of wiki websites was invented together with the word back in 1995 by a guy called Howard Ward Cunningham. And his idea was to try and come up with a new word that conjured up what he was doing. And so he went for Hawaiian and this lovely word wiki. And he knew that in Hawaiian, if you want to emphasize something, you double up a word. So he called the very first sort of user editable knowledge website that he came up with wiki wiki web, which literally meant, you know, sort of quick, quick web. And the nice thing was that he came up with these words, and then when the, um, the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary, was going to put wikis in it, they simply emailed Cunningham and said, so what were you thinking of when you came up with this word? And he explained to them that he wanted something new that couldn't be confused with other terms, and that felt sort of quick and rapid, and that embodied it, and that he liked the Hawaiian wiki. And it's caught on massively as a term. And it's become so successful, in fact, that some people have come up with what you sometimes call a backronym for it. And a backronym is like an acronym done backwards, in that wiki means quick in Hawaiian. But some people now sp spell it out as what I know is, which it, it didn't actually mean, uh, but is sometimes used to describe it. And I think backronyms are rather nice because they have a long pedigree that a word comes up and then people sort of make up a phrase for it afterwards. Probably the most famous of these is in fact SOS, the distress call, which was cutting-edge technology at the edge of the 19th century when telegraph operators wanted to come up with something that could be typed really, really easily and that was very distinctive. And so SOS is a very, very distinctive message in terms of do dots and dashes. Um, but people afterwards, to help them remember it, came up with the phrase save our souls or save our ships. But this wasn't the reason they came up with it, it was afterwards. And you get that online a lot with, with backronyms. Microsoft search engine Bing, some people slightly jokingly say it stands for because it's not Google, which after all might be a good enough reason for using it.